Hey, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, me and the facility crew have been very busy the last few weeks. We're finally doing small production so we can actually build some small structures out of our products and start testing finishing them. So today we've got some paint here. We have a few different types of primer. We have a extreme bond, a multi-purpose, and then we have a couple of top coats. We have an all surface enamel and a high adhesion latitude paint. We're going to see how these typical paints work adhering to our wall with and without the primer. Then of course, we haven't forgotten about all of you who love spray paint. So we've got some primer spray paint, we've got some enamel spray paint, and we got all good old trim clad spray paint. And we'll see how these work. Stay tuned to see the results. So first things first, we have our extreme bond primer. We're going to give this a try. We're going to pre-paint these two strips here with our extreme bond primer and then work our way across doing the multi-purpose primer. And then we'll give a top coat of each of the colors to those as well to see how well this, this adheres. Let's pop open the paint. So we got the roll on primer on and drying over on the other side of the wall. We decided to come over to this side. We're gonna put on our spray primer. We're gonna spray prime these two. And uh, once it dries, we'll be able to use our enamel on this one. Then we're gonna just use straight enamel on this one and our trim clad over here. Let's get into it. And first things first, folks, don't forget, safety is very important when you're dealing with a spray paint. There's producing a lot of off gases, fumes. Make sure you wear a mask. Well, I guess we can see right off the bat, the primer definitely bonds a lot better. We're seeing some slight, uh, some slight bubbling and, and maladhesion on the ones without the primer. Trim clad's doing a little bit better because it's got some primer baked into it, but definitely looking to prime in this stuff if you're gonna spray paint. Now, it's time to start putting on some of the top coat. So we have the alt surface enamel and our latitude enamel. They're both a, an acrylic based paint. And uh, we're gonna see which one bonds better. Now we're going to do them both bare onto the material and then we'll be able to move on to the sections that we've already primed. Let's get into it. So our primer's all dry here now. Let's give this a nice coat of our latitude. We're gonna coat this one and this one up their latitudes. Once again, this was done with our multi-purpose primer. And this was done with our extreme adhesion primer. Let's get into it. Now to give these paints a fair shot, we should really do a second coat on top of it. So we're gonna put a second coat on our all surface enamel and we're gonna put a second coat on our latitude. We didn't use any primer behind these, so we definitely need to put two coats on them to really give them a fair shot at a comparison. Let's get it done. All right, we're back on the spray paint side here. And we're gonna give a second coat to everything because anytime you paint stuff, you definitely need to give it at least two coats, if not three. So we're gonna start with giving the black, the black trim clad paint and primer mix a second coat. There's no primer behind it, it's a paint and primer mix. So we're gonna give that a second coat. And we're gonna come over and give the enamel, this yellow enamel spray uh, a second coat with no primer. And then we've got this section over here that we have primed. And so we're gonna give one of these the black paint and primer trim clad, and we're gonna give the other one the yellow enamel spray paint. First off, 
safety first. Make sure you're wearing a mask when you're doing any spray painting. As you can see from the testing we've done today, we can tell a few things. We've still gotta come back and do some follow-up after. Once all of this fully cures, it needs a good 24 to 48 hours for all the paint to properly cure before we can actually do true adhesion tests. We can definitely see a couple of results right away from this testing. As you can see, especially with the spray paint, the, material, the, the paints that we used with a primer stand out way better. Absolutely, if you're looking to paint our material, use a primer ahead of time, you're gonna get a much better adhesion and a much more even finish on it. Now when it comes to the acrylic paints, we're actually really surprised to see it doesn't appear you really need a primer. I'm quite sure that the primered ones are gonna adhere a lot better. We're gonna find out more when we come back and test them after they've cured up. But as you can see, it's very difficult to tell the difference between the unprimed and the primed ones that used our acrylic based paints. That would say to me, Acrylic paints seem to be the way to go for Playx products. Now we're going to continue to do way more testing around this to really hone in on what are the best materials to paint our products with. But it looks like a really good quality acrylic paint that you get down at your local paint shop is going to do a fantastic job of colorizing your Playx project. Thank you all for coming along with us on this. We're going to follow up on this in a couple of days and see how well the paint all stuck. Thank you all for joining us on this wonderful testing journey. Stay tuned for more amazing videos like this. Build for life, build with Playx. Thank you everyone.